Okay, are any of you stalkers? What? Uh, no. <laughs> what happened? Nothing happened. I just need advice. Stalking advice? Not actual stalking. I just want to find an address. Wow. And what are you planning to do with that? Well, sometimes you need to turn up at someone's house and sneak in through their window. I get that. Well, she probably shouldn't be doing it during a pandemic. Or ever. <laughs> when did I become the voice of reason here? Uh, B, are you hearing this? I seriously don't care. I'm not going to turn up at her house. Oh, is it a her or a her? What? No, shut up. It's that girl from my work, Jody. Oh, wow, like you're interested in her. If you are, going to her house uninvited is a very bad move. No, I'm just trying to send her revenge pizza. Oh, of course. That sounds very gay, dear. Pizza isn't gay. It is now. Naomi, make a gay pizza flag. God, why did I become the art friend? Excellent. So, Katrina, why do you need to send this girl gay pizza? It's revenge pizza. And she sent it to me first, so by that logic, she's interested in me. And that's, I mean, she probably isn't interested. It'd be strange if she was. I mean, we've only known each other for... Well, anyway, it's pizza for revenge. No one at my work would send me stuff for no reason. Yeah, but you work in hell. Fair point. Right. Anyway, she sent me pizza, and it was a nice thing to do. So now I'm trying to do a nice thing back. But I need her address for that. Oh, God. For a second, I was going to suggest you should look her up in the yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> when did you time travel between the last two sentences? Look, she works with you, right? There'll be files somewhere. How did she get your address? Um, the emergency contact list, but I don't have access to those files right now. Bet you someone in your office does. Look, if you're serious about it, call in a couple favours. But if you are serious about it, you have to think about what that means first. Ugh. Why does it have to mean something? The only time I'm stressing about what it all means is when I'm not talking with Jody. Like, when I'm talking with her, I don't think about that stuff at all. We can just be dumb and talk and not think about all the stuff going on right now. And if we do, she makes me feel okay about it. And I think I do the same for her. It's nice, you know, just connecting with someone like that. Oh my gosh. You have a crush on the receptionist girl. Ah, no. Maybe. No. You've got a lot of feelings happening right now, girl. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. It's confusing. I used to think I had a crush on Nathan. You did? Yeah, we talked about it. In year 11 when you got that haircut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, B said I look like a pineapple. Oh, but a cute pineapple. Make all the other pineapples go wah. What about me? Nathan's hair. Are you okay, B? What? Yeah, fine. Okay, hang on, Katrina, that wasn't you admitting to having feelings for your friend at work? Oh, she has feelings. Oh my god, Raz. She's my co-worker. It's unprofessional. I don't know how qualified I am to speak on this because it's really discouraging my workplace for obvious reasons, but plenty of people meet and get into relationships at work. Yeah, but it's such a, like, unpredictable thing. Why would you want to mix it with work? What, you were leaving that job? I am. At some point. I don't know. Ugh, this is stressing me out. I'm just saying you should figure out your feelings before sending pizza. Wait. Hang on. This is about pizza? Yeah. She's trying to get Jodie's address so she can get pizza sent to her house. And Raz is arguing that pizza is inherently gay. Oh, that's cute! Damn it. Yeah. Jodie would probably actually love that oh my god i'll send you it you can show her you can probably find her address by googling her that's surprisingly easy or if you know her birthday you could check her voter registration and if you don't know her birthday that's probably on facebook thanks george no problem how do you know that maybe i was hercule poirot in a previous life ah whoa okay beatrice why did you just shake the earth with your voice it's coming it's hey my name is Just Be Erasmus. Oh no, 
How dare you expose me like this? What's coming? My Lego. Your Lego. Yeah, my job seeker's allowance finally came in and I've got nothing here, so I ordered a set and it's on its way. B, you got fired? <sighs> Not really. We were followed and then about a month back, they had to let a few people go. Not the point. Anyway, it's coming in a few days. I've got to let the twins know. Okay, bye. Should we be concerned? That sounds concerning. Mm. I know I'm not very good at disclosure, but that's a weird amount of nonchalant to me about not having a job anymore. Yeah. It's okay. She's B, right? She'll bounce back. It'll be okay. I guess so. We can try a call again tomorrow. Although crap, I'm working. Yeah, uh, I can use my bike again. I was gonna go see if I could find another gym tomorrow night. Well, I'll be around. I mean, Unless my brother blows up the house in the meantime. I'll be here. Uh, I beg to differ. You have gay pizza to deliver. Oh my god, I'm not delivering it. If it means anything, Katrina, I do think you should do it. Yeah, me too. I mean, even if it doesn't end up leading to romance stuff, I still think it's cool that you made a friend like that. Thanks. I'm gonna ask Fede how to say gay as hell in Italian. <laughs> oh, who had an hour and 45 minutes? Excuse me? I had 1.30. Congratulations, Nathan. Winner of tonight's How Long Will It Take Until Raz Mentions His Boyfriend Sweepstakes? Damn it, I was so close. <laughs> I wasn't. I thought it'd be way sooner. You are all bitter, jealous nightmares, and I hate you.